<laughs> Governor Gretchen is leaving Americans retching. Our video of the day comes from Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. That's her on the left. <laughs> She recently appeared in a bizarre Instagram post with feminist with a feminist influencer, and apparently it's supposed to make you want to vote for Kamala Harris. Roll it. Tell you what, I wouldn't pull that stunt on the View. <laughs> you could lose an arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, Emily, I don't know much about this video because, you know, I'm mailing it in on a Friday. <laughs> but uh, she, I guess they're spoofing a TikTok meme where friends feed each other and stare into the camera. But many, many people see it as a perverted homage to the Holy Communion as a person of faith. How does this make you feel? Yeah, that, that criticism is totally founded and legitimate. Mm. Um, I found this revolting in just many ways, like obviously just visually. But the, the irony to me is that, th think of, this was supposed to help somehow Vice President Harris and Walz's campaign, right? And, and the irony is that Whitmer could have actually made strides in Michigan, where by the way, right now Trump is resoundingly beating uh, Harris in the polls by three points, which seems like not a lot, but compared to four years ago, it's massive. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what they think is gonna help? A self-labeled feminist influencer? What the f is that? <laughs> First of all, if you are in any way a feminist, then you would actually have nothing to do with that disgusting party that only is interested in, in eradicating female babies and also the female individual thought. So I find this laughable on so many levels. And then putting on the, the camo hair as walls hat does not make her a person of the people. It does not make them more appealing to people that in extension of our A block just simply believe in common sense and lower taxes and having our paychecks go further and providing for our families, enjoying a bit of freedom on the side. All this is is trash, but that's the whole point, that the Democrat Party right now will only do what they think in these theatrics, will pull in a couple of votes from the collegiate, the TikTok influencer, yeah, this is us. They have no idea what the real American is thinking and feeling, which, again, to this, is just disgust. Wow, you know, uh... <laughs> For, like, an eight-second clip, Emily just pulled out an entire book. <laughs> <laughs> And she I cursed. Yeah. And she cursed, yeah, Vince. I, I guess that, right. that, that, that uh, influencer's hotties for Harris or something like that. Hotties? Hotties the, for... What do you... <laughs> sorry. Did Enough you, out of you, Emily. I'm talking to Vince. All right, sorry. sorry. <laughs> what say you? Yeah, I, I, I'm really not that mad about this because uh, to me it's just useless <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's on a podcast I've never heard of. It's an attempt at whatever the humor is there and... To be honest, isn't of all the... Isn't it an attack on Doritos? <laughs> yeah, I mean, to me, it's... I, I'm... I, again, I hate to sound like I'm above this stuff, but I, I think it's it's a waste of time, mm -hmm. kind of stupid <laughs> when you have people, like, drowning in floods and everything else going on. It's like, I'm not even going to give that a second thought. That's a good I'd, point. Yeah, I'd I rather agree. worry about people in North Carolina, Georgia... Tampa and just be like, whatever, man. If that's what floats your boat, do your thing. Oh, floats your boat? Yeah. That's well, in poor yeah. taste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, yeah. Vince? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really? Did you just catch that? <laughs> wow. I agree. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm also not offended by it. It's one of those things where I know people are going to be offended that I'm not offended, but sorry, yeah. it doesn't bother no, me. No, well, wait, I want to play you something. It's more in the context of the governor herself. Do you remember this, cat? Hey, Governor Whitmer, how's it going? Hi, Professor Potato. I wanted to share some Yukon gold news with you, my best bud. What is it? We both agree that every Michigander deserves an opportunity to go to college without frying their bank account. Absolutely. A higher education helps you learn more skills, pursue your passions, and even plant your roots right here in Michigan. But for too many, college is financially out of reach. That's why I'm so excited to announce an appealing plan. Oh, I know what you're planning. This year, we will work together to make the first two years of community college tuition-free for every high school graduate. That's right, Professor. That goes on for seven hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. 
Now, I believe Ow. that's supposed to be a potato or a testicle. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she she likes to make these videos because then people talk about these videos, and here we are talking about these videos. I mean, her spokesperson even said that about the Dorito one. We were trying to get people talking, and now people are talking. Yeah, I guess that's stupid, though, because it's value relative. It's like, yeah, I guess, hey, we got people talking. Yeah, they're saying it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Why can't you govern? What do you say, Brian? You're the king of all pointless information. Uh, <laughs> and by the way, these are the people that call uh, that call JD Vance weird. That's a bit strange. Don't I think, think so too. For those people who think TikTok's a waste of time, yeah, there you go. I mean, that is clearly something educational. I'm sure the Chinese are not doing this uh, and handling this. Is but that I, a slam at the Chinese? Yes. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pro America, anti China. Uh, a, a couple of things. Remember, Harris went on that sex podcast I never heard of earlier. That's question, huge question. And then she's trying to get attention by going on this, which evidently has got some young people watching it. And I think the key is there's nothing wrong with. Remember when Clinton went on Arsenio and Arsenio was considered hip and cool? I don't have no problem with that. But at some point, you sit down and have a serious interview, and then you have some fun on MTV. That's the 80s and 90s. Yeah. Now you do this, but you don't break character. You act like yourself, and if she wants to ask crazy questions and they want to do antics, you go, sorry, I'm, I'm, I want to be president. There needs to be somebody with you that make that kind of says, nah, you don't want to get on your... Exactly. You don't want to do this yet. You That's anti-Catholic. And by the way, she's also... Uh, this is Kamala Harris. She's also blown off the Al Smith dinner, which is Catholic. Yes. It's for Catholic charity. It's for the Al Smith Ford Catholic causes. So what is she trying to tell Catholics? Whatever you do, please don't vote for me. Mm, yeah. She's telling Catholics she's satanic. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> They're I'm clapping for Satan. No. I'm not seeing the religious. Yep. I don't, I Kamala don't Harris is the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> and Governor Gretchen Wimmer, Wint, Wint, what's her name? Whitmer. 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 <laughs> One of her avenging <laughs> satanic angels. Right. A conspiracy theorist would say. No, a, re a realist would say, and they're behind the weather. Okay. I, I, I had communion a lot. It never looked like that, okay? <laughs> Just gonna say. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.